Hello, everybody. This is the second record, recording for Unit 3.7. And in this recording, we will be talking about average total cost, average fixed cost, and average variable cost. You will learn by the end of the chapter its definition, how to draw it or graphically, graphically, and how to calculate it. Now, the word average, I want you to think of it, uh, for example, when you're calculating your own average for economics. Let's say uh, student X, his, uh, aver his quizzes are, for the first quiz, he got a 10 out of 20. Second quiz, he got a 20 out of 20. And third quiz, he got um, 5 out of 20. Now, he wants to calculate his average. It's very easy. What will he do? He will add the grades, okay? And he will divide by the number of quizzes. So whenever you are finding or calculating averages, whether it's average cost, whether it's average grade, whatever it is, I always add the totals and then I divide by the quantity. In this example, since he wants to calculate his quiz average, he will have to do 10 plus 20 plus 5 and divided by how many quizzes? It would be 3 quizzes. Okay? And then he will be capable of calculating his average. Now, average total cost. So, the formula would be, let me write it in a different color so you can differentiate, average total cost, it will be the total cost over the quantity. Average fixed cost, it will be the total fixed cost over the quantity. Average variable cost, it will be the total variable cost over the quantity. Okay, so this is what we will be doing uh, in this recording. You will be capable to calculate, to graph, and to define. Okay, so right now, let's talk about average cost or average total cost. So if they do not mention what type of cost it is, it means they're talking about the total cost. Okay, so average total cost, also it could be denoted as ATC or AC, it means the same thing. So, um, this is the formula as we said before, and let's, um, let's ask a question. What does the total cost figure consist of? Anyway, we know that the total cost, and we took it before in the previous recording, it is the summation of both fixed costs and variable costs. Okay, so there it is. In other words, average cost, it could be this formula or also the same thing, it could be this formula because the total cost, they broke it down into fixed cost and variable cost. Now, let's have a look at this example here. They're telling us, calculate the average fixed cost. Uh, what, what, the, what, how can we calculate it? Always the trick here is to write the formula. Average, sorry, average fixed cost is total fixed cost over quantity. So for this point, it's fixed cost divided by output or quantity, which is the same thing. So 100 divided by 100, the average fixed cost here would be 1. 100 divided by 200, it would be 0 0.5. 100 divided by 300, it would be 0 0.33. I want you to try and calculate this and find the total cost and then find the average cost. Um, I will give you like 3 minutes. I know you can finish it in three minutes, so make sure you have the calculator next to you. So it's just substituting the numbers that you have here with the formula. Okay, uh, I will... I will uh, 
continue and I'll show you the answers. But you guys, when you're listening to this recording, please do put pause and try to finish it, okay? And you time yourselves. So here, these are the answers, okay? So for average fixed cost, we said they did fixed cost over quantity for each and every uh, quantity. Here, a variable cost, it's given, this was given. So the answers in red, they are uh, the ones that you found. Average variable cost, variable cost over quantity. So what they did here, how did they get the 1.5? They did 150 divided by 100. This one, they did a 300 divided by 200. Now, the total cost, it's easy. I know the formula. It is the fixed cost plus variable cost. So what they did here, look at the blue color. Fixed cost, which is 100, plus variable cost, which is 150. They get the answer of a 250. Okay? Now, and they did the same thing for the second one. So 100 plus 300 will give us 400. Now, as you can see here in the fixed cost, no matter what the uh, amount produced, it is always the same. It is always 100. So even if the output here was zero, the fixed cost will be 100. Even if the output is 1 million, okay, also the fixed cost would be 100. So we don't care about the units produced. It is always fixed. So it is always the same. Average cost, what they did is total cost over quantity. So for this point here, I'll write it in green. I'll show you in green what we did. It would be 250. So this one, the total cost divided by the output. So 250 divided by 100, it would be 2.5 and so on. Okay. So... You guys, this you can find it in your book on page um, 237. They will also explain uh, what is meant by average cost. And they will show you that graphically our average cost, here we have the quantity, here we have the average cost, and I want to uh, plot down the curve. As we took in previous units, this is the average cost curve, we said this is the optimum point this is the best point when the average cost of production is at its minimum so for companies they would definitely prefer um, spending less the cost should be less on producing the product now as you can see the more they will produce the more the average cost later on because probably these people that were working and i was paying them a salary they started wasting time or uh, so the costs are rising and I'm producing more. It means I should not have produced more since my average cost is increasing. Now I will start with 3.7 um, point um, 3 and it would be on page 200. Sorry page 238 we will explain total revenue and average revenue now when i'm talking about revenue as a definition it means it is the selling price i will give you an example right now i want to sell my phone let's say for 1000 dirhams um, i sold it to a person x he paid me a thousand dirhams. Thousand dirhams would be my revenue. It's the money I received from selling a product. It doesn't mean it's a profit that I made. No, because profits, when I'm talking about profits, it means I'm talking about how much money did I make from this uh, transaction. So, for example, let's say originally I bought my phone for 850 dirhams. This was a cost for me. This is how much I paid in order to buy the phone. But I sold it for a higher price. So in that example, it means I made a profit. So the formula for profit, it would always be 
one uh, sorry total revenue minus total cost in this simple example that I gave you here the total revenue the money that I received was a thousand and how much originally did I pay for the phone it was 850 so I made a profit of 150 dirhams all right average revenue same thing it's average so we always divide the totals over the quantity so it would be total revenue divided by quantity let's see what is a total revenue total revenue is the amount of money received from selling a product we just said it when we were explaining the objective and how can we find it there is a formula for it total revenue is Quantity sold times price. So total revenue is always price times quantity. Price, I'm talking about selling price. Okay? So for example here, what is the total revenue for 500 products? This is the quantity sold at 5 pounds each. So I need to find the total revenue. I multiply these by each other. 500 times 5, it will give me 2,500. This is our total revenue. Now, let's find, since I already gave you an introduction about profits, this is a little, little example um, to, because not always companies, they will be making profits. Sometimes they are unfortunate and they will face losses. So for the formula of profit, it's always the same profit or losses. It's the same formula. You always do total revenue minus total costs. If your answer is positive, it means they were making a profit. If you get a negative answer, it means they are losing. If you get an answer which is a zero, it means they are breaking even. Yani they didn't win. And they didn't lose okay so here it's said revenue exceeds cost it means profit cost exceeds revenue it means loss let's solve a little example the question is if six buckets have a monthly this is a company okay have a monthly revenue of 30,000 pounds and costs of 26,400 pounds how much profit would they have made Write down the formula, total revenue minus total cost. My total revenue is 30,000 minus the cost, which is 26,400 pounds. And this is the profit that they made. Now, I want to make it a bit tricky. They said if costs increase by 15%, so I need to multiply this cost by 0 0.15. Okay. Um, and revenue, and I add it to uh, 26,400, I will get an answer of 30,360 pounds as a cost. And they told us revenue remained a static, and it didn't change. So my revenue previously was 30,000, I keep it as it is. So 30,000 minus the new increased cost. I got a negative answer. These parentheses that are found here, it means it's negative. Okay? So here, a six buckets company lost a th 360 pounds. They did not win. So, as you can see, a profit is a surplus. Okay? It's an extra. It is important for four reasons. Why is uh, uh, profit a profit important because it is used to measure the success of the owner so if we are always getting a positive answer when we are subtracting uh, the total cost from total revenue it means it was a success for the owners banks when they want to lend you money if they find out that you are having a surplus definitely they will give you money they will lend you money they will give you a loan if your business was losing no they will not do that and it is the return or the reward for the entrepreneurs. And also, it could provide a source of finance for other businesses. Now, we in the third uh, recording, we will uh, solve some exercises. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Please, if you have any questions, uh, do not forget to ask me on Edmodo. Thank you.